is this is all about you this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from born without boundaries the oracle card energy reading happens here on youtube it is for sun moon rising sign aries or wherever aries energy influences your chart you can apply these themes and these energies for the next week or so there's no more dates on these videos i've stopped doing it because i realize that they really don't matter they're inconsequential what is important is that you get them fresh off the press. So if you want to know as soon as I upload videos, please subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, and uh, ring that bell. So then every time I upload, you'll know. Uh, this is the Oracle card reading. I always provide an extended reading. That link is in the description box below. And that goes into some real depth, kind of personalizes the reading, a full tarot card spread, and that includes your romantic predictions for the week as well. If you want some romantic predictions right now, I've attached right up above the romantic tarot. I do that every single week, and that'll give you a little bit of a glimpse of the energies that your signs will be facing as well. So, Aries. Tell me what I need to know for Aries. Aries, Aries. Interesting. A bunch of stuff was about to fall out. And then nothing came out but one card. And now two. A little bit sporadic. Is something bothering you? Sing your own song. But I think it's coming out in reverse. So this is feeling trapped, feeling pent up, feeling like what you think and what you have to say isn't being listened to, doesn't matter, or is just flat out being suppressed. So this is a sense of fighting against yourself, fighting, um, fighting for self-worth right now because um, there's no attention on you. There's no one listening to you, or you feel like you're being ignored, or that your energy is being drained and going to waste. Um, there's almost a, a sad sense here of being quieted or silenced or somebody doesn't want to listen to you. No matter what you say, it doesn't seem to matter or communicate well or get through or they're just completely shutting you down to begin with. This is that energy of frustration building. Building that will in what will eventually be self-defense, a defense of one's value of one's right to speak right to say or or being right to begin with like this is a sense of almost knowing that you're right and yet being accused of being wrong or not having anybody listen to you not not being listened to not being heard um it could just be you know a part of feeling really pent up right now aries somebody with so much energy and that's so wonderful at being social this is going to put a lot of strain on you. Um, this, this, you know, quasi quarantine, social distancing. Um, you're somebody who likes to go into the office. You're somebody who likes to be interacting. You're somebody who needs a conduit for a lot of the energy that you have. So part of this is most certainly how you're feeling because of the pressures that you're and everybody else that all of us are, are facing right now. It's a huge pressure. And I don't think, um, maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but most of us don't have anything to compare it to. So that makes sense. Um, and it could very well be that it's, it's exacerbating other feelings that really wouldn't be so bad if you had other conduits or other ways to release your, your tension or your anxiety. Um, this is really being anxious of the feeling that you're being ignored or not listened to or unimportant. Um, that's, that, that's that feeling and that's the energy that's crowning your reading. Here we have nothing is wasted, uh, six plus three equals nine, nine energy. So something's coming to the surface. This could very well have been um, feelings, uh, energies from a long time ago. Um, and they were safely buried or safely forgotten about. Maybe even, I'm, I'm not even trying to say intentional suppression. Um, there was just, it never came up before because you thought you'd moved on. It's really interesting how we think we move on until we have to stop and we're forced to stop. And then a lot of things 
you know, get churned up to the surface. This is that sense of nothing is wasted. No experience is wasted. This is something coming back up, something coming up from the past, something just recently being discovered um, that is bothering you, that is sort of stinking up your processes or the room in general. Um, trying to find a way to make these things useful. It could be literally going through things and trying to find value in things that you haven't been able to get through or work through and you might have extra time on your hands now, but this is a sense of actually it, it doing more harm than good in a strange way. And, and I'll go deeper into it. Uh, trust the great mystery. This is like awakening, awakening to those bits and pieces that maybe you left behind and maybe you forgot about awakening to those bits and pieces that these elements are reminding you of. And the reason I say that it's doing more harm than good is because it's, it's, it's causing a lot of bad feelings and it's even in some ways causing comparisons. And once again, I think it's that sense of isolation and being shut in that's magnifying, right? And, and multiplying these emotions. Um, there is just this sense of well, what's the use? What's the use of digging this deep? What's the use of diving in if it's just, you know, going to be picked through or end up being garbage tomorrow? Like, what's the use of, of what I'm doing or what I'm going through? Um, I don't want to fully say hopeless, but frustration is certainly a good word, a good adjective to use right now. This is also the energy in a more hopeful note of figuring a way or trying to make, trying to figure out how to, almost like digging in deep, diving in deep. I feel like I already covered that though. It's, it's like diving in deep to figure out what's valuable or what's not. Um, and it's starting to frustrate you maybe because of you realizing that a lot of things that you thought had value or you put a great deal of value on really belong in the trash heap. This is, oh wow, porcupine energy. Um, four plus eight is 12, one plus two is three. So this is balance. But this is my defensiveness card. This is Aquarian energy, cutting into somebody with your words, barbed wire spikes, being really prickly, flinging out, it, but it's defensiveness. It's defensiveness and it's walking into a room, showing your defensiveness. Maybe not intentionally for you guys this week. I'm getting that it's not intentional. It's just this, I think as soon as anybody comes near you, they can feel how tense you are and they can feel that you're on the defensive and they're sort of like backing away, which could very well mean, especially if you're in a relationship and you really wanna talk about things or you need to talk about things, there's a sense of it not being respected or people backing away from you because they're afraid of how you'll react. And it's just like exacerbating the situation. Like I said, it's multiplying it because it's like, if you would just talk to me and you would just listen to me, then actually things would be better, but I'm getting, it's getting worse and worse and worse. The more we don't say anything, be loyal to what you love. This is the energy that is central to your reading. Um, this is Cancerian energy. This is a sense of where's your heart belong? Where's your heart space and missing people that love you unconditionally, like really wanting to be around those individuals or those group of people that you know that you're safe with wanting home, longing for home, um, remembering home. Um, once again, I'm not saying, yeah, no, I am saying it's almost like it's making the situation worse because it's something that you are denied right now. Um, you're denied a sense of security. You're denied a sense of, you're denied a sense of, um, community. And yet you're longing for it desperately. That's what's filling up your heart space right now. Um, this is also really wanting to take care of somebody that could actually be very defensive or, um, on guard around you. This is somebody like a dog and porcupines. They don't have a good reputation with each other, do they? Cause dogs come on too strong and porcupines, uh, let their, let their, um, needles fly and they could seriously hurt a dog so you could be in a situation where you're on the receiving end of somebody's needles somebody's accusations uh somebody's somebody not even mad at you but just mad at the situation and and throwing spikes at you or throwing accusations at you and and feeling like you're constantly getting hurt the deeper you go it's like no matter what you do or no matter what you say 
all you get is like arrows shot at your muzzle. And it's almost like, well, why talk then? Why talk? Because all it does is end up with me in greater bits of pain. Ooh, Aries energy, Aries energy. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries energy, okay? Aries. Aries, Aries. Ooh, Aries, Aries, Aries. This is an interesting, uh, this is our new moon. So happy Aries new moon. I'll attach that above as well. Um, this is that sense bending over to pet my pump my pet my puppy um yeah this is that sense of i feel like listen the bottom line is you still do have enough calm about you to take a deep breath and release it you are experiencing a new moon in your sign and that could inspire you to want to make things happen right now fix the problem heal the wound the problem is you have the energy, but at the same time, you don't have the timeline. Because remember, moons only last 2.5 days. And what you want to achieve and what you want to accomplish, you could start it now. And if it was a short-term project, I would say go ahead. But these kind of more serious issues are going to take a lot more time. And that's where the frustration could set in of feeling hopeless and feeling like you're up against the clock and feeling like you don't have enough time. Um, which is ironic because it seems like all we have is time on our hands. But these are like bigger issues that you want to fix and you want to fix them right now. Or you wish that you wish that they'd been fixed, started, you'd started months ago and they, they were fixed now. That's sort of the energy of really wanting to protect and take care of what you love, especially from those things that could hurt it. Um, watch and wait. Oh. I know this energy is so hard for you, but this is Piscean energy of just being very calm and still in the present moment and feeling your emotions and feeling them very deeply and all around you and being observant, being patient, taking a breath, counting to 10. This is the energy of eight. Five plus three equals eight. So that is destiny. Um, all of this is happening. It's happening for a reason. And that reason is yes, to test you. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yes, it is. It is to test you. Um, oh God, I just feel your frustration so much. It's like uh, this. Oh, let me read this to you, please, because this is your this is your new moon, and I think you need to hear it. The seahorse represents the masculine ability to nurture a family. A great spirit animal for house husbands. So this is calling you into a very ambiguous place. Like that masculine energy being applied to what normally the feminine would do. Which is wait and be patient and nurture and take care of. But using that masculine energy to do so. So infusing it with that fire, that essence of itself, but simultaneously it's more of a subdued commitment or more of a subdued action. It's difficult to figure out. And I want you to go really easy with yourselves, Aries, because it's not supposed to be easy to figure out. And you're not failing, you're just learning. There's no such thing as failure right now because this is, the, this is essentially as I extend this metaphor, this is the beginning of the class. You're nowhere near a test yet, right? And I'm sorry for saying you're being tested because I don't think you're being tested yet. I think you're learning. I think it feels like a test. Um, and you're being asked to apply your energy in unconventional ways. And that's frustrating as well because it's calling for you to be much more patient and much more subdued and much more passive or what you would consider passive. Um, and I'm telling you, this, is, this, this discomfort is a lesson in and of itself. Like, what do I do with this? How can I use it and how can I make it into something that is actually good for me? This could also be a sense of your father. Your father being that loving, nurturing force in your life 
who always protected or guarded you, there could be some sort of assault or attack on him. Um, not really assault or attack, but as in he may be struggling or dealing with difficult times. You could be having to take care of him. So that's a little bit of the tension as well, like a role reversal happening in some ways. Like, And that's why you really don't, you don't know your place where you are right now. You don't know how to apply your energies where you are right now. It's because it's a juxtaposition that makes you, in, <clears throat> that makes you uncomfortable. And so in those situations, you're not supposed to know how to react. You're not supposed to know what to do. You just do your best. Time to let go. Time to let go of those things that are gnawing at your heart, right? You see that he's, something is gnawing at his heart. Um, the groundhog spirit rules the underworld. He rules the subconscious or the psyche. And certainly Pisces is really um, rules the psyche as well. This is a sense of those things inside of you that are bugging you go very, very deep, perhaps from your childhood, perhaps things that have bugged you for a long time. Maybe you're being stuck. Take, I know that stuck is a mean word to say. It's like maybe you're be, you have to take care of somebody who now, because they need you, who never really took care of you that well. And so there is something that's sort of twisting and gnawing and grinding on you. It's time to let that go. Even if that means let it out and explode. Sometimes things just have to ha have to happen. Uh, dream the world into being. Yeah, 8, 9, 10, 11. More awakening and realizing what skeletons are in your closet or what skeletons are in somebody else's closet and them dishing to you and telling you why they treated you the way that they did or why they behaved the way that they behaved or couldn't treat you better. Um, this essence of those things that have been lingering and haunting for a while now coming to the surface and becoming part of your future, your present, um, which is never easy. Life is a mystery the energy of eight so this is once again destiny wearing a mask i feel like this is from the past though something was hidden something that you never fully completely understood and it was always like walking up into the attic and seeing those old halloween costumes and knowing they were costumes but they freaked you out anyway because it always seemed like there was eyes peering out this was something that always made you unsettled um but it's been it was there so long that you just um rather not deal with it because you know you didn't really want to get too close to it but there was a little bit of sort of a um intimidating quality about something that was covered up what i say uh this is also piscean energy are you dealing with a pisces was somebody significant in your life maybe a father figure or a mother figure a parent figure um certain things may be coming out again about somebody who is very close to you um that you're not really comfortable dealing with but somehow you always knew this is that very psychic energy of pisces moon the moon card um for me <laughs> in this deck it it's very much like you knew something was beneath the surface for a long time you could tell that it was going on and yet simultaneously there was never any like now you're howling at it and now you're acknowledging it the energy of six plus seven adds up to 13 uh one plus three is four this is grounding you this unknown this dealing with the unknown this confronting the unknown and that fear that has been there for a long time, throwing all of your resources at it, doing everything you can to help it heal and to make yourself comfortable, more Piscean energy, um, make yourself comfortable with all the things that are churning and coming to the surface right now. Um, basically, uh, yeah, you're, you're trying very, very hard, like you're throwing yourself all in all in to this circumstance or situation giving yourself as a resource to i think help healing begin and confront these very emotional issues intuitively you know that it's going to take all of you you know that it 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 needs you you know that this circumstance or situation needs you and that's the the place to put your energy is to nurturing and taking care of somebody else turkey spirit is 
Um, very shamanic and medicine man, a healer, a giver, a philanthropist. It's very philanthropic energy. It's a sense of making the ultimate sacrifice for somebody else's goodness, for somebody else to feel good. Maybe the ultimate sacrifice for you is being pent up, not being free. Whatever it is, there is a sense of maybe learning that somebody made a huge sacrifice for you that you did not understand. And if any energy or tension was uh, pent up because of it, things are coming out now. And I have this intuitive understanding. I feel like this has to do with family lines. This has to do with bloodlines. Um, it could be karmic cycles, absolutely. But I feel like something was kept from you that is just now being understood. And it's, it's uncomfortable. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around. What I most admire about you is that you're standing strong in this energy. You're just not giving up. Even if, uh, even if it, it's completely uncomfortable for you and you're out of sorts, you're, you're sticking with it. I don't even know if you're confronting it because it seems to be coming directly at you. <clears throat> but you're holding your ground. There's this, this need to protect and to nurture and this need to something that's defensive coming at you and you being stuck in the middle trying to figure out how to navigate um, when both sides are extremely uncomfortable or unhappy. These are scorpionic energy, very much um, transitional energy. Um, this is Pisces energy, Aquarius energy, uh, also two Pisces energies major Pisces energy here. So listen, it's it's almost like you're being affected and influenced big time by that uncomfortable place that is Neptune and Pisces, which is maybe people around you or you being tempted to get lost in your dreams. But for some reason, there are masks or demons even hidden there and you don't want, you want to stay far, far away from them. But this is the time when they're going to come out and reveal themselves to you. Let's see what's going to come out in your extended reading. I hope that you join me. And of course, your romance reading is a part of that. Aries, the link is in the description box below. I'll see you in the extended.